The time for Operation Underground is finally here. The successor to Battlefield 3's Metro is launching on October the 3rd for Battlefield 5 and the trailer just dropped on the Battlefield YouTube channel. So in this video, we're going to break down the trailer, look into some specifics and also discuss Battlefest, a four week long semi chapter within Battlefield 5's Tides of War that's going to allow us to unlock some new weapons, a tank skin and a new gadget as well. So lots to go through in this video today. Okay then, let's dive straight into things. This first section of the trailer, and you should know, I'm live commentating this video, just scrolling through the trailer. You might remember in a video a while back, I told you about at the beginning of a round of Operation Underground, some kind of rocket blows up the ground before everything starts. And this very early clip here shows that happening. At the very beginning of a round, you can see it in the map overview when the map loads. A V-1 or a JB-2 rocket slams into the ground outside what looks like a government building and just blows open the metro underneath and that becomes the Operation Underground map. And we are now able to confirm that this map is taking place in a German city. So this is the first true German map available in Battlefield 5. The trailer then opens up into this overhead section where you can get a look for the kind of style that Operation Underground is going with. I can tell you now that this here, what you're looking at, is very similar to the last version of the map I played at Gamescom. Everything's destroyed, there's this sheen of grey over everything, dust everywhere, and then of course the stark German flags that stand out from everything else. And then we get to see what the underground looks like. And this is where everything kicks off from this point. So just to go let you guys know, if you're starting on the allied team, you go into the tunnels via the exploded hole in the ground. And if you're playing as the Germans, you enter the metro through a ticket booth on the other side of the metro. So very similar to how Battlefield 3 did things with Operation Metro. At this point here, we get to see some kind of lead role within the trailer. This character comes up again multiple times, but I think this is the same guy from the Battlefield Firestorm trailer. Not 100% sure if he's exactly the same, but he's kind of got a similar look to him, although he now has different colored hair and without a beard. It might just be the same character model, but he pops up a few times during the trailer, and I think it's a, a new cosmetic set as well. In this next scene, we get to see all the allied soldiers running into the underground below the street. And this is kind of your classic Operation Metro feeling from Battlefield 3, recreated here in Battlefield 5. I've got to say, the tonal differences between the two games are very, very obvious. Of course, Battlefield 3 was famous for having that blue tint over everything. That's not really present here in Operation Underground. Everything is a tinge of green and yellow instead. That makes it very, very different from Battlefield 3. And obviously it being eight years since Operation Metro came out, things are going to be a little bit different. But the lead designer of the Operation Metro map from Battlefield 3, he led the design here on Operation Underground as well. So it's the same guy that made the map eight years ago who's kind of redone his work here for Battlefield 5. As I think nearly everybody expected, it looks very claustrophobic down here. It looks like if you threw off a grenade, you'd get plenty of kills if there were that many people in the vicinity. And this is the style of gameplay that this map is going to offer. It's a meat grinder. If you don't like infantry only combat in a really small area with lots and lots of players, then this map may not be for you. But considering Battlefield 3 to this day is my second most played Battlefield game with lots and lots of hours being pumped into Operation Metro. I'm very familiar with the feeling that we're watching right now, so I'm right at home here. And whilst we're speaking about claustrophobic spaces, this little section here with the guy who's taking people down with his shotgun, it's a really cool clip actually, but this is one of the newer areas of Operation Underground that differs very much from Operation Metro. There aren't as many choke points in Operation Underground, or maybe I should rephrase that. There are more choke point locations where infantry can clash together, but the map in general under here in the metro section is a bit wider and therefore it's not so narrow in terms of combat. You've got a few more flanking routes that you can use and this kind of barracks workers sleeping location is definitely one of those. 
This little shot here is one that I really, really like. It's kind of going overboard on what you can expect from Operation Underground. Our main character here, he's taking cover, and players all around him are just being slaughtered by incoming enemy gunfire. That's kind of what I'm expecting for Operation Underground, but just maybe not to this level. It looks really cool in the trailer, and obviously there's a little bit of a story here, but uh, it's what comes next that really has me excited because I've already done this in a couple of play sessions, but you guys haven't got, got to see it yet. It's really, really cool. One of the new flanking routes available to you in Operation Underground is the ability for you to jump into a service tunnel that's been flooded by a broken water pipe. Now, this section of the map isn't always flooded. There is some low-lying water in the corridor at certain times, but then at other points during the map, it's not flooded. So sometimes the water's raised right up, sometimes it's right down on the ground. So it changes up how you can use that flanking route. As I've said, I've done this already during some of the play sessions that I've had on Operation Underground, but I've not been able to confirm or deny if this is player controlled. During the version of the map that I played, I couldn't find a trigger for it, but that doesn't mean that that was the intended outcome of this system. So we'll have to wait and see, but it's definitely a cool implementation for this map. I don't think you can really do that anywhere else in Battlefield 5 at the moment. We then move on to this section of the trailer right here where the Allied forces are moving out of the metro location up into the ticket offices. This is where the Germans enter the metro themselves. They get a much cleaner entry to the metro system, but the British can push up and out of here into the ticket booth and then out into the street beyond. And then that's where this map does look quite a bit different to Operation Metro from Battlefield 3. You'll remember there's a big building behind the cafe area in Battlefield 3's version of this map. That sort of cafe area isn't really there on Operation Underground. Instead, you've got this big government building that sits the other side of the road, and this sets up the last flag location in a round of conquest. So you have to sort of storm in and take this German government building, which is a really cool feeling, I've got to say. And then the end of the trailer here shows off some gameplay of that section. I really like the clip where you get to see the guy moving forward with his 1911 just firing off shots. That's a really cool clip. I really like that one, but that's basically the end of the trailer. It shows some good gameplay of what's happening inside the government building just to give you a flavor of it, and then it shuts off, and then that's basically all we're going to see until October the 3rd. So that's the trailer out of the way, but I did want to give you guys some information about Battlefest as well. This is some kind of like celebration of Battlefield 5 that DICE have implemented in between the end of Chapter 4 and the beginning of Chapter 5. And it's going to last a full month. It's going to be four weeks long. And for every week, it's going to take on the form of the Tides of War, just like normal chapters, but it will be that much shorter. And most of it focuses around Operation Underground as well. So let's go through some of these rewards. For week one, it's called Tunnel Vision, and it's just going to focus around Operation Underground and if you complete the weekly challenge, you'll get to unlock the Masson MG, which is a weapon that you might recognize from Battlefield 1, and the Battered Weapon skin for that weapon of Epic Rarity level, which is pretty cool. Week 2 is going to focus around the Rush game mode, which includes Operation Underground. Rush does have a setup here on this new map, but also other maps will be available in the rotation. And the reward for that week, you will get a vehicle skin for the Sturmgeschütz 4, which is one of the tanks released in Chapter 2 of the Tides of War, I think. It's called the Captain Hadlow vehicle skin. There's no image of that right now, which is a little bit strange, but that is what will be available if you complete Week 2's Tides of War. Then we have week three, the Trench Carbine is going to be the reward, and that week it's going to focus on infantry-focused conquest maps, so maps like Operation Underground, Rotterdam, and a few others. Marita's probably going to be in there. And then week four, ready to join up with the rest of the Battlefield community in a grand challenge, it says. In the first Battlefield 5 community mission, we want you to score 100 million kills or assists. A unique and handy gadget will be yours if the mission is completed. The Fliegerfaust, a prototype man-portable anti-aircraft launcher. This beauty can fire two salvos of unguided rockets to dispose of enemy planes. 
With all of those rewards in mind, it does seem that DICE has done a pretty good job here of filling the gap between the end of Chapter 4 and the beginning of Chapter 5. It's been a couple of weeks since the end of Chapter 4 now, and we've had Aus and Dan to keep us occupied for the last few days or so. I thought they might give that map a little bit more time before they released Operation Metro, but arguably I think more people are looking forward to Operation... Do I just call it Operation Metro? It's Operation Underground. Let me just clarify that. I think more people are looking forward to Operation Underground than they were Alice and Dan, so kind of makes sense that they'd release it as soon as they could. But there we go then, just two days to wait until the launch of Operation Underground for Battlefield 5 and the beginning of Battlefest, which means we've got four weeks worth of activities leading right up to the beginning of, presumably, Chapter 5 for Battlefield 5, which, as we know, is the Pacific. Thanks very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't like this video, then, you know, hit that dislike button. That's perfectly fine as well. And leave some comments down below. Let me know what you're thinking about Operation Underground. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.